the Hong Kong police have seriously changed their tactics. They aren't negotiating with the anti-government demonstrators anymore. Now they're on the attack as soon as they gather. Street after street, tear gas and charges. The numbers of protesters on the street seem smaller, but the hardcore keep turning out. They build barricades and cause disruption, but they don't and can't hold the ground for long. And the police have had enough now. They're pulling forward, firing as they're coming. They're going to take down these barricades. They're going to smash down, and the crowds are now fleeing down the street. This has gone on for a long time now. The police are not messing about. These types of incidents spring up constantly and in minutes, sending people running for cover. Others without a clue what to do. Where, where can I stay? Is there... There's bars and things that are open here. My bed is going to the outback and have a... I go there? Yeah. And how long does it take? <laughs> a long time. It can, can be a very long time. So I, can, I cannot go until, like, a... Let me have a look. The police are in no mood for compromise. Protesters trying to escape on the underground have followed down. Tear gas fired underground as well. The numbers of injuries are growing. Many support the protest movement in Hong Kong, but disapprove of the violence. In the conservative North Point area, from our car, we could see likely demonstrators being dealt with by locals. They don't want them here. The police had to line the streets to keep the peace as tensions rose throughout the day. Hong Kong has seen ten weeks of demonstrations and violence and more rallies over the weekend, often huge numbers turning out to show their support. But most of these marches are focusing on police stations and now the police are taking no chances. Their deployments are in big numbers and they're well armed and ready for trouble. But on it goes. The Hong Kong and Beijing governments are losing patience with this disruption and the effect it's having on the economy and normal life. The protest may be faltering, but they could just be tired. And so far, there's not a single sign of compromise on either side. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Hong Kong.